Hello everyone, welcome to another Scratch 3.0 tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make a maze game in Scratch just like this. So I'm going to get through the maze. The first thing I'm going to do is choose a sprite because, because I do not want this Scratch cat. So you're going to come down here, click on choose a sprite, and I'm just going to find one I like. So I've chosen my sprite, it's just a ball. And now I'm going to click on Sprite 1, which is my cat, and press this garbage can to delete it. We don't need you, cat. Now, let's start to move our player. So I'm going to click on Events, drag out when green flag clicked, and we need to move to the right. I'm going to come down here, click on Control, and drag out forever. When we press the green flag, it won't run once. Now, click on if then, click on sensing, and drag out key space pressed, and I'm going to change it to key right arrow pressed. Now, we need to move to the right. I'm going to click on motion, and drag out change x by 10. That will just move it to the right. So let's press the green flag. I'm going to press the right arrow, and my ball will move to the right. We also need to make it move to the left. So we'll basically do the opposite of this. I'm going to click on control, drag out if then. I'm going to put it right below here. I'm going to click on sensing and drag out key space pressed. And instead of moving to the right, we want our ball to move to the left by pressing the left arrow. So I'm going to choose the left arrow from the list and click on motion and drag out change x by 10 and now let's press the green flag and we are going to have a little problem we can move to the right when we press the right arrow but if we press the left arrow we keep on moving to the right so change x by 10 moves our player to the right if we wanted it to move to the left we would change this to change x by minus 10 which is the opposite of 10 so now let's press the left arrow and now our ball moves to the left. I'm going to click on stage, click on backdrops, and I'm just going to click on the rectangle tool, choose a color for the walls. Maybe I'm going to choose a dark red. I like the color red. And I'm just going to draw two walls right here on the edges of the screen. Now click on the ball click on code and let's try moving to the left now let's try moving to the left and you'll see our ball goes into the wall which we do not want in our maze game I'm gonna click on control and drag out if then and I'm just gonna snap it under change x by minus 10 we want a way to detect if we're in a wall so you can see right now our ball is touching our dark red color of the wall so that would be a good way to test. We can detect if we are touching color. And I'm going to click on this color that's already selected. Click on the eyedropper tool. And click on the color of my wall. And make sure it's the same color. So now we are detecting if we are touching the color red. And we want to move out of the wall. So I'm going to drag out change x by 10, which will move the ball out of the wall. So I'm going to move my ball to the center and try moving again into the wall. And you can see my ball does not want to go into the wall, which is great. But if we move to the right, our ball still goes into the wall if we're moving to the right. So I can just copy this code. I'm going to click on control, drag out, if then, put it under and inside if right arrow key pressed and I'm going to click on sensing again drag out touching color so we want to detect if we're in the wall and I'm going to click on the color that's already here and choose the color of my wall so if we're moving to the right we want to move out of the wall by moving to the left so click on motion drag out change x by 10 and I'm going to change it to move it to the left, which is minus 10. 
So let's move our ball back into the middle and move to the right and the left and you'll see that it is not going into the wall. Awesome. Now I want a way to reset our ball's position when we press the green flag and the way to do that is drag out, go to X and Y and we'll just put in zero for the X which is left and right and for the Y I'll put in zero and if I click on the block it'll move to the center of the screen. I'm just going to drag this block and put it right under when green flag clicked so that will happen when we press the green flag. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure to smash the like button for more tutorials like this and if you wanted to just hit the subscribe button so you get notified when we release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.